on. first summer Saturday of the year. Yay! No uh-huh. doubt, as you know who I am, my <laughs> name is Kevin K.P. Pryor. Broadcasting live from the legendary Dimitri Studios in North Bronx over the DSN Network, WRN, the Broadcasting Network. Congrats to WRN on their new um, app for Apple users. Congrats on that. Congrats. Obviously, you always stream on Nafi Lounge and the Nafi Lounge app. Yes. Joined by my my, my brother here Boys. with the with the beard, got a little yeah, gray in there. Yeah, no, I saw it. I saw it. Just a classic man. I let it rock out today. I'll take it out tomorrow. I don't even feel like taking it out. Because over here, Miss <laughs> Blonde. Hi. Would you call yourself down to Black Maryland? That's what you call yourself? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Sapphire Blue. The New Maryland. The New Maryland. Up top, I got um, backstage Ed, <laughs> who's cousin Eddie's hey, in the building. Ed. Um. Are we missing up our, our partner in crime? Well, rodeo is in traffic. Is he It'll be Doc rodeo? Pay. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm holding it down. Uh, and uh, he'll be here momentarily. But uh, again, um, happy summer now. Yes. We're officially in beach and you know barbecues and string bikinis. Amen. I know. Can I yes. say that? Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> That's good. But what's going on, Just? How you doing, man? Good, I'm good. I can't complain. You know, had a good week. Work killed me, but it is what it is. Yeah, work is really killing you. It's yeah, making you great, man. Days. Come on. But at least I ain't losing my hair up top. Well, as long as I keep my hair up top, I'm good. Is, this is not really about losing. This, this, was, this, is, this is a word. This is a process. You don't... This is not a process bald. I'm trying to stay away from. <laughs> this is shaving. Bald and shaving are two different things. Let me just let you know that. But this see, is shaving. But see, they keep telling me to cut it, and I keep telling everybody, you need to grow it. So let's you see what happens. You need to grow it. You need to grow it. They want me to cut now it. Now, this works for me. Uh, Sapphire, what's going on with you? Um, Everything is great. It's mm-hmm. Saturday. It's summer. First weekend. The weather is great. And... Uh, it's a good start. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. I, I know you talking about you supposed to hit the West Coast. I know. Coast. I was going to hit the West here. Coast. I didn't. Things happen, but I'm happy I'm here, and I still love New York, so. Good. Backstage, okay. Ed, what, what's going on with you, man? No, How's no, the property values? Uh, the EU, good, si- the EU situation. Up, in, in, in How, how's that Br- EU Affection. situation treating you around the block? Uh, they, uh, thank goodness that hasn't hit up here. I'm good. I'm good. I hate yeah, these okay. young rubber snappers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, obviously, you know, for those, um, for especially Ed, I'm sure he realized what happened in, um, Britain, Britain yesterday yeah, with uh, a form of independence for the Brits. Yeah. It's crazy. Huh? And the prime minister quit. And yeah, he resigned. The prime he minister resigned. resigned. And the one they're going to hire is going to be Donald Trump type. Well, I know my former. <laughs> ah, let's go. Maybe it make him let's president of, uh, of, the, of the United Kingdom. Yeah, they might. He go over there. He can start a new act. He got, he got his properties in Scotland. Yeah, he got the yeah. Trump, Trump links, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> in Scotland. So he was over there doing his thing. And then my 401k hit, took a hit yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, know, I don't know about right? anybody else. Uh, everybody's 401k took a hit yesterday. Look, 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 my 401k actually kind of went up a little bit, so I'm all right. I'm all but right. But them darn them piss me off. I know. <laughs> yeah. Big shout, big shout to our Miss Mel Parsons. That listen over there. Tell your your, your neighbors, man. I'm a little annoyed that they made that vote. Get your mates right yeah. over there. Nah, exactly. But you know, and the yeah. funny thing about that is that they went and they tried. They got over a million votes to reverse it. Good. They need to, man. Because they, because yeah. you know what happened. You today. know what happened in theory. It always sounds good. Like, like even with the Trump thing, it always sounds good. Like, oh yeah, you know, we're gonna liberate and take back our country, whatever that means, and we know what that means. But the reality is that once reality hits, mm-hmm. like dumb dumb Brits probably went to their portfolios or um, the dollar dropped. And like, wait a minute, mm-hmm. we just shot ourselves in the foot. Yeah. yeah, you know, like you can't put the genie back in the bottle. So yeah, I, think, I think it dropped like what four to five hundred yeah. yesterday. Yeah, I mean, one day, really but thing. that yeah. it's got it's got to. Yeah. When breaking news like that, there's mm-hmm. no way the market is going to stay straight straight and go up. It's not no. happening. It's, I mean, it, no, it's they had to close time. the market down because if it didn't, yeah. it would have kept dropping. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, luckily we have um, um we have stop measures in place to stop that, so they don't right. go too far. Right, right, right. But we'll see what happens. I mean, the thing was that I understood was. They were tired of Brussels and the people in Brussels trying to dictate how they live in Britain. And how are you going to tell somebody in Britain mm-hmm. from Brussels what to do? That's what they were upset about. Well, it had a lot to do also with what we're experiencing here with Trump. It's like they didn't want foreigners exactly. coming to their borders. They claimed that foreigners were bringing... Because, you know, I mean, United Kingdom has great gun control. It does. Um, but obviously, when people come over with things <laughs> with semi-automatics... <laughs> But again, I mean, my and I'll pass this to the to the panel here. Like, we we knocked the Trump thing, but some people applaud the the Brits thing. Y- your thoughts on that back then? I mean, they applaud it now because they say, "Oh, look what good is happening." But what hap- What's going to happen as months go on and they don't get the things that they thought they was going to get out of this whole thing? Right. Because just listening to what they were saying a lot on the um on the tube that they was basically a lot of 
misdeception going around saying that all oh, this and that and they're running around talking about different things. And it's, it's going to be very much head turner and see how that's going to work over there with them. And might this affect us in a way that they're going to say, oh, we can't use Trump because this is not too good. Well, I don't want to talk too much politics we got because we got a phenomenal guest I on the know. show. Um, Can I sneak I, I, one I, thing in real go, quick? Sure, go, sure. I want to say what's up to D-Rose. Welcome to New York, baby. <laughs> Let's go, Knicks. Number 25 in the building. I'm excited. I don't know about everybody else. Joe Keem, if you're listening... Come on, bro. We need you in that center position. Let's go. I don't know. I, I, I'm excited, too, about D-Rose coming to New York. I, I think, I'm you know, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I mean, obviously, you killed me, but That's fine. You did a rodeo I didn't even know there. he was a Knicks fan. You did a rodeo on that one. But, no, I said, we, we're going to hold our, our political conversation to later. But, yeah, going on with the Knicks, you were saying, yeah, I, I'm excited about that, too, because um, being a, a lifelong Knicks fan yes, and the reality that they're getting this guy on a contract year, so yep. everybody plays good in the contract year. You know? And if you, even if you're a garbage man, you get a, your contract is, a, you know, you, 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 work, you, play, you yeah. pick a little bit more garbage. I just want to see how that's going to work with Melo. Yes, that's, that's why I said. He's a oh. point. Well, he's a guard. He's a guard, and Melo needs a, guard a strong all night guard. Yeah, but you got to have that chemistry. So I'm talking about the chemistry between two players. I'm not necessarily talking about the position. Right. But think you about know, this for a second. Whole today's summer NBA. to figure that out. Think about this in today's <laughs> NBA. There's no way they would have signed. <laughs> there's no way they would have they traded for Derrick Rose if Carmelo wasn't on board. Hmm. So, I mean, you know, obviously you had him and Porzingis. The Joe Kim Noah thing, eh, you know, I it's like Joe Kim, but I don't, I don't want Joe Kim. He's from New York. And I, I've seen. <laughs> In, in my travels, I've seen how he, he moves. moves. He's and, a beast, bro. Right, but he, I don't He's need a gorilla. Him, but we don't need him moving no, like the gorilla him, off I the need, floor. I need him to move like that. Not, not in the city streets. Nah, I mean, you See, know. He, he come he's back home in New York, guys. You know, like Rose is leaving world. his home. Yeah. Uh, well, Joe going to go get? Home. Dwight? No. Oh, okay. So nah. there's nobody else there. No, nah, you know who I'd take? And, and I was just, I know we don't, we talk sports, but I would take Timothy Moskov. I don't need a scorer in the middle. I need somebody. Why not? I need somebody to do the I dirty work. We need the scorers. No. The kid from Spain, they bringing him up. Send him home. I don't need. No. It's chemistry. You just mentioned chemistry. Yeah, chemistry, but so we need I some scorers, though. That's no, why I need no, Noah. You don't. No, you don't. Noah and Rose have board. chemistry. We, we but lose the problem because of points. Is, the problem is Noah costs too much money, and they're not planning no. to spend that. And he, would, he, he wants yes. a max deal. He wants a max yes, deal? Yes, yeah. he wants max deal. Oh, no, yeah. Too much that, money. No. You Listen. can't ask max money. I'm sorry. I got Boy, enough my. scorers. I got Melo. I got D. Rose, and I got Pazingas. Well, I, everybody can't shoot. It's like, you know, I'm here, and you. I'm like Allen Iverson. You guys are, you know. The role plays. I'm joking. Yeah, but D Rose. <laughs> wow. D-Rose. I'm joking. I'm joking. You know, I'm gonna he wasn't have joking. That, that wasn't one. a joke. You, know, you really have, think that's you know, a joke? I'm going to put him on time. I'm not. Sometimes he needs to remember who started this game. I'm going to put, no, put him on time. I out. always, I always, <laughs> if you, if I say. I, I created a monster over here. You did. I really did. No, I always. And I remember starting out with you from day one, so. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. Here we go. All Remember right. that? We had no hope. I Nail said, salons. No, Kev, yeah. You Tattoo do the radio thing. Trust me. Yeah. Let's not get crazy Trust in me, basements. Kev, the radio yeah. thing is so That's there. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to cut yeah. it. Remember that? And stash houses. I, exactly. I, I do know about that. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, I, I listen. I would be nothing without you guys. So you stop it. You sound like getting on oh, like, you like humbled rodeo. all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> everybody, everybody. As long as we um, rise together, we're not footstools. What are we going to do? Obviously, okay. I just saw uh, Mr. Late ride through. We're going to take a quick break. Today's show Rodeo's is great. In the building. Today's great show is great. I mean, yes. the brother here company he was on about a year ago when he was promoting his book, and he, he's just really deep filmmaker, spoken word advocate, uh, just a political analyst, just overall deep individual, you know, if, you, if you're watching and eating your Fruit Loops right now, you definitely want to kind of just, like, have this as your appetizer for breakfast, because this brother is deep. Oscar Sanders is in the building. Yes, sir. Um, we're going to chop yeah. it up on a lot of things. Obviously, he's got some stuff going on with uh, uh, Dr. Great, Michael Carvin, No Excuses, Jazz Great, uh, The Political Game. It's going to do some, some poetry mm-hmm. for us. For those who follow me on Facebook, I threw something up there last night that I can't, unfortunately, play here because of um, restrictions in different markets. But it was a deep poem. If you can go to my Kevin Pryor Facebook, it's still up there. And um, it's something that I think, you know, it'll, it'll wake your eyes, um, open your eyes a little bit. He's going to do a few more of yeah. those today. And then join us in our news segment today, um, his monthly pilgrimage, Mr. Roger Maloney from Ustream Media. You mm-hmm. Front Media. Front, yeah. You Front Media. I like CEO. Roger. Roger was riding around some convertible yesterday. Yeah. thought he was Dantana or something. You know, like, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> Hurry up, Roger. He got conventions and everything now, man. Yeah, I do yes. one show, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> blows up. Also, I want to announce um, coming in July here to the DSN Network, uh, a new spinoff show. 
Um, he was here on the show last week. He's in the building. I asked him to come back and continue just to be ready. So when he tops his mic, he, he's flying. My cousin Eddie, Eddie Bailey, uh, the, the cousin Eddie Chronicles. We'll talk about everything old school. We we'll live sometimes. We we'll live some ideas. I'll be chopping up at Oscar. Not to say Oscar's old school, but, you know, he, and they might work out something. But um, that's coming to DSN in July. Look for dates and times. And I'm excited about that as well. So I'm going to take a quick break. Keep it moving. It's not feeling live. Don't go nowhere.